Good morning. This is Jeff O'Neill with Custom Rod Iron Gates. This morning, we're going to make a quick video showing you how to measure for your new gate and then how to install your new gate once it arrives. When you're measuring your gate, there's only two measurements we need. That's the overall width of the opening and the height that you want your installed gate. When you're measuring the width, you want to measure the top and the bottom of the opening. All openings are a little different top to bottom. When you're filling out your order form, make sure to use the smallest opening. This one I've got 40 inches on top, 40 inches and a quarter on the bottom. In our area, that's pretty common, have up to a quarter inch, half inch difference top to bottom. On my sheet, I'll be filling out 40 inches for the width of the opening. On the height, the height is going to be the total height of your gate, not necessarily the opening. The gate for this opening will include a six inch arch. When you're uh, measuring and filling out for the height of your gate, if the gate is going to have an arch, the measurement includes the arch. So again, this one has a six inch arch. So to the side of the wall, I've got about 54 inches. We usually measure up a little bit so there's room for the gate to swing. So I'm going to order this gate 54 inches plus my six inch arch. Means my gate in the middle should be about 60 inches tall. When you're measuring for your gate, always take into consideration which way the gate is going to swing. This gate will be hinged on the left, swinging out towards you. Again, you, we usually leave about an inch or two underneath to allow for rocks, dirt, that type of thing. But you also want to take into consideration if there's a slope to the ground in the direction your gate is going to be swinging. If the dirt is sloping up, you want to make sure there's room underneath the gate to allow for that. That's it. Two measurements on your ornament form. Your overall width, and again, that's going to be the narrowest of the two, and also the overall height of your gate. If it's a square gate, a flat top gate, that'll be to the height of the middle there. If there's an arch, it will be including your six inch arch. Okay, let's get to installing the gate that was ordered for this measurement. As you can see, I've already laid out my tools. The only tools you will need to install your gate will be a drill, it has to have, if you're going into brick, it's going to need a hammer function to be able to drill through your brick. And we also carry impacts. You'll also need handy level. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the post that our gate is going to hinge on. And grab my drill and my quarter inch masonry bit. If you're going into wood posts, you will only drill with your quarter inch bit. The star bolts are designed to go into a quarter inch hole if it's into wood. On this project, because it's masonry, we will also be drilling it out with a half inch, inserting our lead anchors that the screw will go into fastening our pole. First thing I'm going to do is drill my middle hole on the gate. So I'm going to select my height. Again, wherever you want your gate to sit, we usually go an inch or two above the ground. I'm going to mark this hole. I'm going to drill my middle hole first. Swap out to my half inch masonry bit. Insert my lead shield. And my star driver that also comes with your kit. One of the star bolts. One thing I do is gently snug that bolt up, grab my level, plumb my post. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. That's going to hold the post plumb for me while I drill my other two holes. So again, I'm going to mark them with my quarter inch bit.
I'm going to loosen up my bolt and just rotate the pole out of my way. You can take it all the way off if you want to. Put my half inch bit back in. Two more lag shields. Whoops. Okay, at this point our hinge post is on. What I'm gonna do next is put on my hinges and actually hang the gate. I like to put the post on, then the gate, and then set your latch post. That way we know the, um, the height is gonna be well. So, our nut driver, it's also included in the kit. This gate is gonna be getting the standard um, hinge and latch kit. The process is exactly the same if you're getting the D&D &D Technologies kit. Um, again, this one's just getting the standard kit. When you're lining it up on the post, you'll see a flat spot on the hinges. That's going to line up with a flat spot on your gate. When we're done here, I'll get a close-up so you can see exactly how I line that up. The screws are self-tapping. There's no need to pre-drill the holes. What I usually do is start out putting two screws in the hinge on the one side and I'll end up putting one in the gate. What this allows me to do if I need to shim the gate up or down a little bit to match the opening, I can do that. Want to make sure when you're lining up your hinges that they're straight and plumb with the gate. Otherwise, it's going to bind a little bit when you open it. Okay. Here's our gate. Some people, you can use wood shims or something to hold the gate at the level you want. We just use our foot. It's not a real big deal. I'm going to match up the corner of the post with the corner of the arch. Again, I'm going to line up the flat side of the gate. Go to the bottom and do the same. Okay, that's enough to hold the gate. We we'll mount the post on the other side. I'm gonna line up the latch post. Same process is gonna apply. I'm gonna start with our quarter inch bit. Since the gate's already mounted, I'm going to try to match the post height with the gate. As 
So I've marked my center hole. Now this gate was ordered, but the holes pre-drilled. Um, the latch pole and the hinge pole will come with three holes drilled if you order with them drilled. We include hardware for a fourth hole in case you hit a bad spot, maybe a grout joint or something else. That way you've got easy access and the ability to add a fourth mounting point. Also, if you order them without the holes pre-drilled, it still comes with a 5 16 inch bit to drill your own holes. Probably should have brought a hammer. Grab my star bit, the driver. Okay, the bolt is secure. I'm gonna plumb it up. Post plumb, now I'm gonna pre-drill my other two holes. Quarter inch bit. Once again, if you're going into wood structure, you will not be drilling with the half inch bit. Just drill it with your quarter inch bit, drive the star bolt straight in. Tilt my post out of my way. Lag shields. Two more star bolts. Okay, latch post is on. I'm gonna line up and I'm gonna put my latch. So latch always has to go on the side the gate is swinging towards. Standard latch includes your finger and your latch. Finger part is gonna go on the gate. The latch part will go on the post. I always start by putting my part on the post first. I'm gonna swap the star bolt driver out for the nut driver. Again, that's included in your kit. Self-tapping screws. I'm gonna put the latch part on first. Get this out of your way.
when you're putting your latch on your pole, you want to put it as close to the inside edge as possible. That way you've got more room for your lock. Now we're going to put the finger on, just put it in the latch, put it going across so it looks nice. Okay, so our latch is on, gate's latching. Now I'm going to finish putting in the uh, screws that I didn't before. At this point, if you had a real bad difference top to bottom of your opening, you can actually take some of the screws out and pivot your gate. This one, the opening is fine, so we're going to go ahead and leave it as it is. That's it. Your gate is up and installed. All that's left now is to clean everything up. So what I'm going to do is take a couple minutes, wipe everything down. I'll get some close-ups of the latch and the hinge so you can see how that goes together. Okay, it took a couple minutes to clean everything up. Let's go take a look. Aside, these are the hinges. If you notice, we're just lining them up with the edge of the post and the gate bottom. On this side is our latch. Again, the latch is on the side the hinges are on. That way when the gate is opened, the finger is not protruding out into your opening. Let's also give you a close-up of what the star bolts look like. So this is what the star bolts look like. They're attractive. They've got a ceramic finish and they don't chew up the edge of your powder coat finish. This is where I was telling you to mount your latch as close to the edge as possible so you've got room for a padlock. Okay, thank you again for choosing custom right iron gates for your new project. I want to remind you again, when you're choosing who's going to be building the gate for your project, do some research. We've been doing these gates out of our Tucson, Arizona factory for over 22 years. We don't just build them, we install them. Everything is built and powder coated in our facility by our employees. Nothing is overseas, nothing is getting shipped. Everything is done by our talented, caring employees. Thank you again. Have a great day.